What advice would y'all give to a new Reddit user? You're just as likely to be talking to a 13-year-old with no friends as a 55-year-old lawyer with a large social group. Remember that when you are forming your opinions on conversations, people who claim to be experts on a topic can be wrong. Do your research and please read articles fully. Not just the headline. You can be wrong too. Don't be afraid to admit this and change your mindset. Treat Reddit like an amusement park. Some subreddits are fun. Some make you throw up. Nothing should be taken too seriously. NSFW doesn't mean erotic and unless you have bleach ready. Don't click on it. Don't let karma upvotes ruin your experience. When you stop worrying about how much karma you have, Reddit becomes a lot more interesting. Or don't. I'm not your mother. Don't worry about upvotes, karma. Don't be afraid to speak your mind. Find subreddits that fit your interests. Don't assume everyone is American or male. Be wary of getting sucked into the hive mind mindset. Or falling into the trap of an echo chamber. Have fun. Remember that most people commenting aren't experts. Or anything close. They're mostly armchair professionals. This means they have no credibility other than posting on the internet. Oh. And don't be afraid to block toxic pieces of. Don't engage with them. Just block them. You don't need that kind if negative energy in your life. Never title posts things along the lines of, I know this will get buried in new. But. It's annoying and no one cares. Leave before you get addicted. You still have a chance. When you reply to a comment. At least attempt to make it relevant or funny. Don't clog up threads by leaving useless replies like this, or underrated comment. Such lovely advice guys. Thank you. Smiley face. Almost every big subreddit you go on has a consistent narrative. If you defy said narrative, you'll lose karma. Curate your subscribed subs. So many of the ones you're auto-subscribed to are toxic. Far too political. Or all around bad. Also, sort by rising so your comments actually get responses. Always keep in mind that Reddit is not real life. Vocal opinions here are fringe views in the real world. Make an account with an anonymous username you won't use anywhere else. People here often post about private stuff they don't want others to know and you can't change your username. So if you would like to change create a new account now that it isn't that much of a hassle. Also, research about the classics of Reddit. Such as Kevin. The CO guy. That guy's dead wife. Believe me. They'll crack you up. And don't use emojis. Edit. Learn the Reddicat. If you choose to answer an Askredit question. Upvote it. 2. Fly. You fool. Never trust anyone with an account only a couple days old. You seem fine though. Reddit. Don't post an unpopular opinion. You will get insulted and downvoted too. Not everything is real. There are tons of bots that post for upvotes so be careful with what you upvote other stuff your first almost post is in hot. That is against the laws of quantum physics. Awards are a waste of money. If you want karma, sort top per hour. There are stories here. Stories that cannot be unheard. Don't stick your in a coconut. Be careful not to break both your arms or do. ECT. If you don't comment within the first hour, no one will see your post. Reddit can become an echo chamber very easily. Do have regular Reddit detoxes. I mostly lurk so here is some technical advice. 1. You can convert any subreddit into a photo viewer mode. By adding p in the URL before .com. Like so. www.redditp.com slash r slash rarepuppers2 You can also view multiple subreddits at the same time or mixed together. By adding plus in the URL in between subreddits. Like so. www.reddit.com slash r slash rarepuppers plus illegally smallcats and yes. You can combine 1 and 2. 3. When you need a break from your home, default, favorite subreddits. Click on all. It can be refreshing. Being nice and witty will get more karma than being a twat. A lesson everyone should learn in life. Ignore your karma. It means absolutely nothing. An overwhelming majority of people downvote based on whether they disagree. It's why you'll never see fruitful discussions in political subreddits. Voting doesn't mean jack. PPL will downvote you for the most trivial opinion and will upvote you for whoosh. Do be wary of your karma though. Some subreddits won't let you participate with a certain amount. Don't put emojis. People here hate them and will give you a hard time. 
You can occasionally use them ironically. Ten years ago I would have told them. If you can get past the ugly interface and layout. I am telling you it is a great site now with the new layout and redesign I tell them. If you can get past the ugly interface and layout. I am telling you it is a great site. Reddit can sometimes be toxic and people can be dicks for no reason at all. Try not to be bothered by it. Read the subreddit's wiki, FAQ before you post. Also. Read up on the classic Reddit stories. Don't ever. For any reason. Do anything to anyone for any reason ever. No matter what. No matter where. Or who. Or who you are with. Or where you are going. Or where you've been. Ever. For any reason whatsoever. Only comment if you have something to add to the discussion. If you don't have anything to add. Just upvote the people who said what you wanted and move on. There's a lot of sarcastic humor on Reddit. So think before replying. Or you'll end up trending on r whoosh. You don't have to root to get free internet points. Proofread. Then proofread again. Don't share your opinion if it's unpopular. And don't use emojis or TikTok or Instagram either. Just be you and don't copy others. Let people like you for what you do. Be nice and have fun. Don't forget to use emojis when you post and comment. OK Hand Star Footprints Cactus Lady Beetle. Delete Reddit. Or use it exclusively for things that have nothing to do with real life like video games. Stay clear of art gaming though. Turn back. This place is an echo chamber of unchangeable opinions disguised as a popularity contest and fueled by clickbait. It uses anonymity to make you think it is different from Instagram or Facebook. But when you are three hours into scrolling the front page for the third month in a row you will realize you made a mistake and it is too late. Turn back yo. Spez is a. He's an absolute tyrant. You can't upvote anything he disagrees with. More or less there's also a thing called shadow banning where you get banned and not told. It also seems like you aren't banned. But no one sees your comments and posts. Like they don't exist. Don't be a. But also don't be too wholesome Keanu 100 points. People don't like that. Other than that. Common sense. Really. Don't take something for gospel because it's written well. When I first joined Reddit. I would take things that were written really well and descriptive as way more credible automatically. And it made me believe some serious serious BS. A lot of people will purposely try and use specific obscure words, terms and mental gymnastics to confuse people on more complex subject also. Because it's more difficult to challenge or object. Don't fall into that. Don't comment or subscribe to a sub about how a group of mods is controlling Reddit for their own profit and ego. You will just end up having to make a new account. Find and read the rules for each group. It can save you a lot of Getting downvoted into oblivion for unknown reasons is a rite of passage. Don't take it personally. Edit the front page so it's personalized to you. Find a bunch of unique and silly subreddit and add them. Delete all the bad subs that are standard. If you ever need to search for something on Reddit. Type the question or what you are looking for into Google followed by Reddit. It works WAAAY better than Reddit search function. Stay away from political subs or discussions. It really is pointless. You won't change anyone's mind here. Stick to the fun stuff. Whatever you do. Do not share your unpopular opinion on something. If you're not a raging lefty. Brace yourself. Don't bother going against what the majority of Reddit likes or hates. It's more than one word against yours over here. And you're not going to win. There are a couple of users that you should block at your earliest opportunity. I'm not going to name the users. Because I don't want to get into trouble or anything. And also because I don't know all their names. But there are one or two particularly famous users who are particularly known for stealing other people's original content. Passing it off as their own and getting massively upvoted because of it. If you block these users. Then you achieve two things. One. You ensure that they cannot see any of your content and cannot steal it. Two. You ensure that you don't see their content. And accidentally upvote them instead of the person whose OC they stole. People who claim to be experts on a topic can be wrong. Do your research and please read articles fully. Not just the headline. You can be wrong too. Don't be afraid to admit this and change your mindset. You will put time and effort into explaining something you really know about. 
and get two up votes. Then you'll make a comment about trying to buy a VCR or some other dumb and it'll be your most upvoted comment of all time. Karma equals 90% timing plus 10% quality.